Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. <laughs> I almost dabbed because my kids have been showing me how to dab. Cash is all about it. He did it today in his teacher meeting. His teacher was like, Cash, you got all fives on your pre-SAT TA toss testing. Right. And Cash is like, I did? She's like, you did. He's like, is that good? She's like, that's great. And he's like, academic oh, dad. Yeah. Academic dad. <laughs> uh, welcome to the Whiskey Tribe. It's Rare Whiskey Friday. We're going to go through and give first impressions on several different whiskeys. These aren't necessarily your larger brands. More often than not, these are going to be your smaller craft brands without a tremendous amount of distribution. If you should be so lucky as to live in a place where you can get your hands on any of these, you're welcome for the review, and thank you to the Magnificent Ambassadors of Scent the Whiskey. This is Ryan Butler. All, all, all of this is Ryan Butler. So he said... Thank you to Ryan Butler who sent the whiskey. I can't help but notice the shocking fact you two never reviewed anything from New Jersey. Ah. Otherwise known as the Garden State. When I think whiskey, I think <laughs> New Jersey. You know what's funny, though, is if you get off of the turnpikes, New Jersey's beautiful. Oh, right? It is the Garden State. Sure. Bastard and Ryan Butler who just sent us Ryan four Butler, you may give us it. Bastard. Fight. We're gonna live with Silk City today. Okay. So the question is, yes. <clears throat> do you want to start the classics or start with the weirds? Uh, you start with the classics. Okay. So we start with the rye and their bourbon. Yes. Yes. Okay. Right? All right. So we'll just one at a time. Yeah. So this is the straight bourbon. These guys yes. are making all their own shit. Yes. They've got stills from Still Dragon. Mm -hmm. uh, what is Still Dragon? Which is one of the companies that we were looking at for buying, potentially making oh, okay. a still, but they didn't have enough copper for my needs on a couple of the things. We want all of the copper. They have a thousand liter still they custom design with Still Dragon for their stuff. So they're making all their own shit. And they're trying to source local grains even. Is farming in Jersey? Yeah. Uh, Sussex. An ongoing thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's the Garden State. I don't know. There's gardens and then there's fields. Gardens, fields. So this field is a... Field state? It's not the This is state. a straight bourbon. This is batch. It looks like nine. Bottle 56. There's no age statement. There's like this... Uh, it's just beautiful perfume. Oh, wait, at least two years. It's beautiful perfuming. It's this classic bourbon cherry, but it has this ripeness to it, this gravity to it. This heft to it. The cherry is actually really surprising. Yeah. It's strong cherry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, maybe the most cherry I've ever smelled in a craft bourbon. It's almost, almost like a cherry syrup. Yeah. But you don't have that much just raw sugar in there. Interesting. Beautiful, yeah. Oh. Son of a bitch, I really like wow. that. Wow. And then there's like this... Oh, it, it, ah, it, there's like this, was this an oaky character? Yeah, but the finish kind of flattened a little bit. So 45%, eh, I don't think that's it. So, <clears throat> so that's weird. I took a sip, first blush is the doubling down of that cherry, then it goes into the wood tannin. It's, but the, the wood, I want, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say tannin. I think tannin is gonna elicit ideas of bitterness, mm. and it's more oaky, almost oat. Like an oaty, oaky quality. Toasted oats and oakiness. I'm saying toasted oats and oakiness. It's very woody. And then I get what you're saying. After two thirds, mm -hmm. first third's very, second third is like the oaty, toasty, um, <gasps> and then it falls off a cliff. Oh, do this thing. Yeah. So I fixed the finish. But it's really nice. It's really nice. Yeah. I fixed the finish, and here's the weird thing. Did so I want you to experience what just happened. Did you gargle? Swish it around on your tongue. Wait, 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 wait. Before, I want you to, I want to preface this. Before you do it, do it to the count of 10. And what you'll find is, on the finish that it didn't have before, it comes back with Loudon's cherry cough drops. With a vengeance? With strong cherry at the ending. Mm. Which is... It's still lingering. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the wood takes over, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it switches oh, back to cherry it gets, cough drop. It gets medicinal. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. But cherry medicinal. Yeah, yeah. Wow. The cherry medicinal cough drop. Wow. Isn't that wild? And you, I can't find a trace on the finish. The oak is gone. Gone. It's the just cherry is cough drop. Yeah. Wow. That is. That is. Yeah. That's interesting. That is. What was the. the 45. 45. Right on. I actually got more flavor than I was expecting. Is this. So the, the stills, is that a copper pot? Is that a column? What are they doing here? It's uh, They're doing one of those hybrids where it's a pot still with a hybrid top. Right on. 
Or at least from the photos, they're doing that. Yeah, super good. And, but it seems like it's all stainless steel. Yep, I'm impressed. I like it. Okay, we're moving to their rye. Mm -hmm. I, even, I like their vibe, too. It reminds me of this really cool restaurant in Austin that I like. See, it's a little, uh, it's a little tame for me. The vibe? The little, little... I know, no, I get it, but I... <clears throat> it is definitely tight. Like the classy... Yeah, I like it. Hunter's green. Yeah. And like the, the soft gold lettering and the simple font. I need some bombacity. You wow, need... there is... Herbal, this is the rye. Herbal tea, This man. is uh, batch one. Oh. One! We got batch one! Did we? Well done, Ryan right. Butler. Yeah. I wonder uh, if Ryan works for the distillery, because so he sent us so much whiskey. Uh, if he did, we should have cricketed him. But he did not say anything about working uh, for the right. distillery. Uh, this is a beautiful, light, fresh rice spicy note. Herbal. It pot. is. It's not any of the MGP. There's almost a coffee. Almost a coffee note in there. All right, now walk me through that, because I that coffee is the last thing I would have said. Where are you getting the coffee here? So there's this smell that's on the back end of pouring through a Chemex yeah. uh, that smells a lot like the paper oh. mixed with wet coffee grounds. Okay. Not coffee, but wet coffee grounds. Yeah. And... Oh. oh. So we are in, like, definitive rye yeah. country. Yeah, they nailed that it. That rye herbal spice. None of the weird craft Very, faults. very forward, very present on the nose. <gasps> It's simple. Oh, more a little bit spicy. More subdued on the taste than the nose would lead you yeah. to believe. Yeah, it's a little mild, a little spicy. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, mm. it's more. Honestly, it's I like. I'm, I'm more excited about the bourbon. The rye. On yeah. The nose. I was buckled up. For, oh man, this is so present right there and on the taste. I think maybe the proof betrayed it just a little bit at 45%. Yeah, the same thing. So, but here's the thing. Yeah. It's what's lingering for me is still the peppery spice. Okay. It's, like the no oil. There's no surrounding notes. There's just that. It tastes like it wants to give me more at like a 50 plus percent proof. I could see that. Because um, that the elements I was getting on the nose, that beautiful herbal, fresh, light rice, spice, vibrant, it's there, but it's like thinned out and watered down a bit. Mm -hmm. I feel like yeah, it's, I agree. it's still there, but I just need a little bit more proof to really get the full effect of that. Oh, no. Even with the spreading around, it stays dramatically rye spice, but it has no base. Um, and I eventually, the finish, the second sip in, the finish shows up in a more interesting way. Yeah, but it still has no base. Yeah. Like, there's no legs to this. I'm starting to get a little bit of a, a brown sugar in there with the finish on the second sip. It's so mild, though. Mm. This I is like, mostly enjoyable. rice spice with no real middle it's, heavy baseline. But what's there, I enjoy. I wish the proof was just a little bit higher on the rye. And I wish there was the more bourbon. Oil. I really like where the bourbon, you know, as is. Okay, now, we're going to go with this one next. This is a one-year-old... 12 months. All right, this is the weird one. This is a 12 month old bourbon. Okay. However, you said it was the weird. other mash bill. Yeah. Or the mash bill, the other grain is millet. And I kind of feel like I want to get new glasses for this. For just, the millet. Yeah, for the millet. If you're going in weird, I just want to see. So this is 51% corn, 49% millet. Corn and millet. Now I'm gonna look up, and this is one year old. Right. Right? So. You know what? It's it's not like a, a, an alien creature on the nose here. So it's a cereal grain. I'm trying to figure out what it's close to. Of course it's a small seeded grass. So, it's not as present on the nose as the bourbon, as the rye, this is gonna be um, a lighter, more delicate nose. Is this also 45? Yes, it is. So they just That's their favorite standard, proof. Yeah. Standard proof, 45. Yeah. Uh, this one's 52 points. Oh. The last one. The right, last we'll, we'll see what the last one yeah. is. Yeah. You see what I mean? It being like a, a lighter, more delicate. But it's not lighter. Oh. Oh. Try that. In spite of the lighter nose, there's more uh, molasses and maple in there. Oh. And oh, like a brown sugar sweetness. 
No, this this actually does some head fakes. Dude, this has way more density than the rye. And complexity. Yes. On the taste. And way more. Yeah, I think for being so much younger. The rye has more going on in the nose yeah. than the millet thing. But the um, palate. The taste, yeah, it actually has, it's more interesting. Go back to the nose. It just changed and got way more grain musty. It did. Now, After the first sip. Now it's very present. You have that going through the retro nasal, whatever, and you are picking up. I'm actually getting brown sugar now. Yeah. For real brown sugar. Brown sugar and a sweet tea, which... Oh, the taste just changed back to straight sweet tea. It's simplified. So after the initial boom, 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 bouncing around, yeah. it's sort of narrowed down into like a nice, almost herbal sweet tea. With some brown sugar and some honey. You know what? That, that, wow. I don't know. I wish we weren't doing first impressions on that one because our first approach was all over the place. Yeah. I was like, oh, there's multiple notes in here. I need to be able to go back and find. Second approach, this was a much more slow motion evolution from and more brown sugar and honey and just classic notes. And I'm struggling to pick out what millet was bringing to this that isn't found in a bunch of other uh, more traditional whiskey grains. I gotta say, I, I think I might... That begs more explora exploration. It does. I, we don't have time in a rare whiskey. I think I might be becoming a fan of Silk City Distillers because they're trying shit. Well... And everything they're trying, if it has faults, right. It's not production fault. Let me say this. Let me say this. Wait, don't move that out of the way because you need to keep track of that. Okay. Well, let me say this. The the moment that you said this last bottle wasn't 45%, that mm -hmm. sent to me a signal because it, it, up until that point, it was like, oh, they just chose, they chose 45%, theirs, 45%. And, they, and, they, moved and they weren't necessarily interested in finding the exact right proof <clears throat> for each individual whiskey. Yep. Like, oh, that's the proof we're going to do it for whatever reason. But the fact that this is coming out at a different thing, I was like, okay, maybe they're actually considering the nature, the character of each whiskey before they choose a proof for it. Maybe. Okay, what is this? So, this, you're going to find very, don't touch it yet. Yeah. You're going to find this very interesting. They call it, it's bourbon. Again, just like the millet. Yeah. Right? However, this one's called smoked. Oh. All right. The mash bill is 70% corn, 5% rye, 15% Oak smoked wheat, and then ten percent beechwood smoked barley. Okay, that is a funky adventure. That's a four grain bourbon. Yeah, I'm, I'm, with two of the grains smoked. I am. with two different kinds of smoke. That is an interesting story. Yes, I very I haven't smelled this That's yet. That's why I wanted to tell you before you smelled it. I'm very hopeful. Me too. That they went far enough into I'm assuming the tales. To maintain, to maintain this smoke. this smoky character yes. and not just had this in the grain and then got scared off by the new make smokiness yeah. and went high up into the hearts. and the. This yeah. also is one year old in American Oak. Okay. Man. Batch one. We got batch one again. We got batch one. I'm looking for the smoke, though. I'm looking for the smoke, Daniel. I'm looking for the smoke. We may... It just smells like bourbon. Yeah. It doesn't smell well, smoky. But hold on. Not the bourbons we just had. Keep in mind, we just came from, Lef like, we're shooting all these batches. We got Lefroy, we got the, the blended peated malt. It's not like the bourbons we just had. It's a, it's like a different bourbon. It's, it is. It's not the millet bourbon. It's not the, the classic, classic bourbon. Classic straight. That is a, it's almost like a, ooh, it's not a malty must. What is? Oh, there it is. Oh, son of a bitch. So they did not cut low into the tails. Ooh. They did not. No. However, so they, what they did cut... So what that means is they did cut out a lot of the smoke element yes. that could have been there. A lot of the hefty smoke notes are gone. Right. The, uh, potential smoke notes. However, this is a far more complex bourbon it is, than the cherry bourbon. I think there's like trace elements that I don't get out of the classic bourbon notes and even the millet thing yeah that i can only prescribe to it has to be just them kind of nipping at the edges of that smoke a little bit it's dry yeah it's dry and it doesn't present as here's some smoke or bourbon but i think it's just nipping at the edges to get some 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 character some depth some complexity mm. Man, I like this I went, bourbon way more. I went back and I got um, I got a Ooh, honey. And also got a little ashy in the aftertaste. So I did my swirl it around and kind of sit on it for a second thing. Yeah. Do that. And then you find the ashiness. <laughs> you like to swirl it and sit on it. 
You like the swirl? I like the swirl and sit. The counterclockwise swirl? Uh, you know, either direction, really. I'm equal opportunity. Not the pinch? On the swirls. Not the no, pinch. no, 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 no. The pinch no is too pinch. far. No pinch. There's no Counter subtlety. Counterclockwise swirl. There's no subtlety with the pinch. And then you sit on it. Yeah. <laughs> the good people at Silk City were so looking forward to sharing this episode with their friends. <laughs> and right. Like, yeah, we can. Right up until that <laughs> moment, and it's over. <laughs> What was I doing? So I was supposed to taste this and it's so, Yeah, but sit on it. Don't drink it. Don't swallow it. Just swish it around. And that's when the aftertaste presents the ashy notes of the smoke. Okay. I think I know what you mean. I think what you're saying is ashy. I think is that very old yard aged wood where yeah. the wood has been dried out and and um, and uh, rehydrated <sighs> multiple times over years. And that wood has been sitting outside, yeah. sun bleached. It starts to get wet. The smell of that wood once again getting hydrated. That you're saying is kind of like a dry ash. I'm saying yes. it's kind of like an old yard wood. That's yeah. I could see either of those things. Yeah. yeah but yeah. this is uh, while that is for bourbon drinkers. I think you're gonna really like that one. Yeah. Heavy cherry. I think between these, all of these. That's my preferred. I'm thinking the bourbon, and then. Uh, mm, I wish the rye was a little bit higher proof, and then the millet thing, and then then the smoke. So this is thing. last for you? No, this is the third to last, and then the rye. Oh, okay. So bourbon, millet, millet, smoked rye. There you go. Here's I the, go smoked. You go smoked. Yeah. Then bourbon, millet, rye. Well, that's the pinch. Here's the fight: stealing a drink. <laughs> if you fight, may you fight for friends. You steal, may you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink with a counterclockwise swirl, <laughs> may you drink with us. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.